What is up, my nerds? What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Timmy Hizzles, back at you again. Listen, gang, I'm not dead. I'm still here. But I can't help but feel like I owe you guys a hashtag explanation. Um, so here's what went down last week. I was going to do this video um, a long time ago last week, get it out as soon as the last one was done. Did that epic video last time with the uh, mashed potato. Uh, went really well, smashed it out. Um, a few hours later, found myself feeling kind of queasy. Next thing I know, I'm throwing up. I'm on the floor. I'm passing out. I was out of commission for like four days, my gang. So, um, yeah, sorry about that. Nothing could be done. Still don't know what that was all about. Probably some sort of bug that was going around. But uh, I'm back now, and I'm ready to carry on better than ever. So, my gang, here is today's offering on food for thought, episode one. Salt and shake crisps. Uh, not going to lie to you, gang. I have had these before, but it was a very long time ago, so I may as well be a noob. Um, I know what you're thinking. What? Really? Salt and shake crisps? That's a bit uh, mainstream, a bit lowbrow for a show like this. Well, you're right, but there's a reason behind this. Because I'm an influencer, and I don't want to get onto my pedal stall too much. But we have become a society that has moved too far away from the preparation of our own food. Okay? We let the slaughterhouses do the dirty work, because we don't want to see how the sausage gets made. Now you can order food to your door, and we're losing that hand-to-hand -hand moment with the food, that preparation. And that is what these guys have tried to do in some small way. We're not just mindlessly chomping, we're making these crisps up ourselves. That is the hashtag message I'm trying to promote with this. Um, so let's uh, check out the ingredients first of all. Potatoes. Okay, so... Um, this have got instructions on it. It's like three sets of instructions. Gang, we're all smart people here. We don't really need instructions on how to make our own crisps, do we? So, come on. You salt it, you shake it, and you enjoy your crisps. Here we go. And somewhere in here... Where is it? Should be... A little... Aha! Uh -huh. Right at the bottom of all places. A little sachet of salt. Make your own crisps. There's my guys in there. So uh, let's get to it. Get our salt. First of all. <coughs> I'm not gonna lie gang, that was not pleasant. I really hit you hard that is not. And shake. I don't know what this is meant to do, I think it activates the starter or something. <coughs> and then we enjoy crisp. Mm. Mm. Okay. What I'm going to say. The crisps are quite plain. Very plain crisps. But, I think you need them because that salt hit at the start, that little shot really hits you hard out of nowhere my gang it's strong stuff can't say it was altogether pleasant so this is actually quite the cool down it's like drinking a margarita you get the salt rim hits you and then you enjoy the drink the salt i'm not gonna lie wasn't a fan but these are all right plain they're all right well the salt did ruin it a little bit so i'm only gonna have to give these five out of ten but the message that I'm trying to get across. We're not just walking around shoving stuff in our faces. But this is the, We're making these ourselves. And that was an experience. And that's what I'm trying to get across to you. So that's going to be put up. 10 out of 10. We'll try again. So there you go. Salt and Shake Chris. 10 out of 10 from Timmy Hizzles. Stay tuned because I've got a special Queen's Jubilee um, epic episode. Mega episode coming up uh, over the weekend. It's going to be awesome. Stay supple my gang.